Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. I want to do a really quick video, tell you kind of a little funny story about this car. So it's a 73 Olds 98 LS, 60,000 miles, 454, um, white, red interior, just a really sharp car. I'm a big fan of Oldsmobile, so I like to buy a lot of Oldsmobiles. So I got this car and I was trying to find a set of those wire hubcaps for it that you see on there now. The car came with the flat, regular hubcaps and it kind of gives it a more of a dull look. I like the, the wires. It just kind of makes the car pop. So I'm calling around. I'm trying to find a set of hubcaps. And I call this place called Hubcap Annie in Tennessee. Of course, he, they don't have it. They said, we just deal with later model hubcaps. But he says, there's a guy called AAA Hubcaps. Give him a call. He'd probably have what you're looking for. So I call this place up, AAA, out of Tennessee. And a guy named Nick gets on the phone. And as soon as I start talking, he goes, is your name Bill? I was like, yeah, how'd you know? He says, man, I watch your YouTube videos. I recognize your voice. So we started laughing about it. And I said, man, that's crazy. I said, I just called this other place Hubcap Annie. And they didn't have what I was looking for. They said that you would. And he said to me, he said, well, you know what? Because I watch your videos. He said, I'd sure like to sell this guy some hubcaps one day. So it was just kind of a cool story. Small world. Um, it's pretty cool that he just recognized me by my voice. And then he follows my videos. So... Besides looking at this cool car, I want you to keep AAA hubcaps in mind out of Tennessee. And uh, the guy's name is Nick. And really provided a really good looking cap for not a lot of money. So if you guys need anything like that, that's my new friend Nick. And I will definitely be buying more hubcaps from this guy. He was fun to talk to. He was very knowledgeable. Since I just started, started describing the hubcap that I wanted, he knew exactly which one it was. And he had four of them right there ready to go, packaging them up. And gave me a heck of a deal. Cleaned them, detailed them up nice. Made the red and the uh, Oldsmobile Rocket look good. And like I said, this will definitely be a bringer trailer car at some point. I've got a few more things to do to it. I'm going to do an engine bay restoration, service it, and drive it for a little bit before I decide to sell it. So check us out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like our, our, our videos. Share them. And uh, just keep your eyes out for other new videos that we'll be posting. And you guys, you can see I've got some other stuff here that I'm getting ready the t-bird and the lincoln the delta another t-bird that Cor corvette that sold that lincoln mark or the mark or the town coupe is getting prepped and actually i do a lot of classics but i also have this really cool jaguar xkrs that i'm getting uh submitted that will be going up for sale soon and then in the showroom real quickly I got the Lincoln Givon G that sold already on Bring a Trailer. That one's going to California. And I've got this really, oh, check this out too. This is really neat. A big Top Gun fan. Um, went to the movie theater, saw it in the theaters and saw that and just had to have it and made a deal with the, with the guy at the movie theater to uh, let me have it. I bought some tickets to give away to some kids as, a, as kind of a donation thing. So I told him I want to preserve that and keep it in the showroom. But... Another really cool car we have here that's going to be also up for sale on Bring a Trailer very soon is this 1957 Cadillac El Dorado Seville package. Uh, this car was actually sold in 2018 at Barrett Jackson on a Saturday on TV, and it was being repped by Craig Jackson. So the customer bought it back then, came here to Myrtle Beach, lives at the North End, calls me up about a week ago and says, hey, I heard you buy old cars. I said, well, I do. He asked me, he says, would you buy a 57 Eldorado? I'm like, well, you know, maybe. Depends on how it looks and, you know, what kind of shape it's in. And the guy says, it's on the back of my trailer. I will be there in 30 minutes. And he shows up with this car. And I'm like, wow. I was just wowed by it. You know, I'm a big fan of the cars from the 70s because that's kind of when I grew up. But as soon as I saw this car, I was like, man, I've got to have this Eldorado. So we made a deal. Um, you know, I drove it last weekend. I'm going to drive it here and there for a little bit until I get it completely ready. I'm going to do the uh, the paint correction, which it really doesn't need it, but um, I mean, I can take it to a little bit higher level. And we'll service it. A couple of little odds and ends I want to do to it as far as getting it ready. i got to fix the horn. The horn's not working. You know, again, a very thorough detail I'll do to the car. But this is a really cool car as well. So you guys, like I said, keep your eye on the channel. Uh, you never know what's going to be up for sale. And uh, so I'll tell you that story about my buddy Nick at AAA. So uh, again, subscribe, follow, and share. Appreciate it, guys.